fire And I'm taking it over What is going on? It's Platinum Gaming here. Today we're back here with another video. This is an updated version of how to make a logo. So um, let's just jump right into it. It might take a, it might be a long video today. So uh, yeah. So first off, you guys want to search your player. So I think we'll just do like someone like um, let me think of a player quick. All right, we'll do um, Lamar Jackson here. Then you guys want to go to images. And go to HD because you want to get the best quality you possibly can. And um, this image right here actually looks pretty dope. Um, might use the. Uh, hold up, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna wait till I can find a logo that I like. Okay, I found a photo. So you just hold it down and press the download image. And it'll save to your gallery. Um, next, you guys want to search up the background. I personally do a city, so purple city background, and you just find a dope kind of background. Um, I think this one is good right here. Uh, for the background, you actually want to take a snapshot for that one. And then, um, and then you guys want to go home, and you want to open up a snap seed right here, and go to the image that you got so this uh I guess right here go to details go to structure put structure at 100 go to sharpening put the sharpening at about uh 25 or so go back to tools again go to details put structure at 100 again and put sharpening at um 25 once again press okay go to tools go to hdr escape and you can just kind of uh, play around with it, kind of see what you like. Honestly, 50 is probably good. And then press OK. And now go to export and save the image to your gallery. And next, guys, you want to um, you want to open up Pix Art right here um, to make the logo, kind of put it together and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's gonna might take a little while. There we go. Um, and then press add. And then you want to go to um, the city background that you chose. Go to tools. Go to crop. And then you want to crop it. And just kind of crop it to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a square for this one. Because that will come in later. Press the OK button. And then go to effects. Go to HDR. And this might take a little while, but um, it is worth it, and it should be done. There we go. Press the check mark, and then go over to go to adjustment, uh, go to brightness. I mean, you can basically change all these kind of stuff. So you can change the contrast, put that up a little bit, clarity. Can go up like um, close to all the way up. Saturation uh, maybe can go all the way up. Highlights, yeah, that'll go up a bit. And shadows, oh yeah, that'll come in handy too. So just like that, press the check mark again. And now you want to press the download button right there. Boom, and now it's saved to your gallery. Press the back button, don't save project. And then you want to go to, um, and then you guys want to go to remove BG. So remove BG to remove the background of Lamar Jackson. So go there. And if this can load, there we go. And now upload image. And you want to browse and find it so there it is right there and then it'll remove the background just like so in a few seconds so just like that um it actually didn't do a really good job i might need to fix that up in another editing app but uh, download it now it's downloaded uh let me just quickly fix uh fix it in background eraser because sometimes it does that um you guys might not have to worry about it but i don't know why it just did that it kind of sucked, but 
Um, yeah, so I'm just going to fix it up quick. So I'll come back to you guys when I fix it up. All right, we're back. So sorry about that. That shouldn't really happen to you guys. I don't know why it uh, didn't work on me that much, but let's just press it on. And let's just save this to our gallery just like so. So save. Now that it's saved. Then you guys um, go back to PixArt. And now it should load in. Yeah, okay. And then go to the photo. And then you guys want to go to effects. HDR. Wait for it to load a bit. If it can load. Sorry about that. Um, and now it's loaded. So press the check mark. And go back to effects. And this time go to artistic. And scroll all the way down. And go to fatal one. Right here. And that'll kind of pop out this image a bit. Press the check mark. And then you guys want to go to um, border and add a border to it. This just kind of pops it out a bit more. And they can change the color of the of it. So I'll change it to like a light kind of purple, just like that. And press the check mark. And then you just want to... And then you go to tools, go to adjust. And they can adjust the different kind of stuff. So you can even go to clarity, um, saturation. Um, there's just there's just tons of different kind of stuff you can do. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, just like that. And then press check mark. Just kind of fix it up and then press download and that's saved to our gallery. Oh, don't save the project. Then guys, you want to go to the city that you edited. And then go to add photo. And then add the Lamar Jackson that we just edited. And now scale it as much as you can. So... Just kind of wherever you want to place it, you know. And I kind of like it centered, so this is kind of the center right there. Uh, just like so. Maybe need a little bit less. Just like that. And uh, if this thing, there we go. So that's looking pretty good. Go to shadow. Put shadow all the way up, position to zero, and horizontal to zero. Go to color, and now go to try to go to the color of the background, just like that. It'll pop it out more, and yeah, it's looking really good. And then you want to press the check mark, and you go to tools, go to crop, go to the square right there. And now um, you can just kind of Add it however you want. So that looks good for me personally. And then press check mark. Go to effects. And go to FX. Go to HDR. And this will uh, kind of make it pop even more. Um, well, you could kind of change the dimensions and stuff like that. The blur. I might put the blur. Um... I like one, and they can change that right there. I'll put that at like 14 fade. Um, probably just like there, it doesn't really matter. Put the saturation a bit up, and there you go. Press the check mark, and then uh, that's basically it. And then you download it. And then save it to your gallery. Then, guys, the last step you want to do is open up Fonto. This will get the text in. Go to um, load image. And then pick that, the one that you just edited. Go to this uh, pencil button right here. And then I'm just going to name it Lamar. And you can size it. Um, it won't be that big, actually. 
I mean, the size of the bed. I think that'll be good. And you can change the font, guys. Um, you can watch videos of how to download fonts. Um, but you can also just do their fonts if you'd like as well. I personally just do like uh font those other fonts. Um, but yeah, these are the fonts that I recommend. Go to thefont.com and you can download it. Might be some videos. I'm just gonna do Logtown demo right there. And then go to style. And you can kind of change it. You can create a color pattern. You can go to a gradient, uh, downwards, and change the different colors. So I'll personally do white, and the second one is also white. Add one, and then go blue all the way, and go red all the way as well. And you can also, probably not green, I don't think. Um, yeah, just like that color. And you can make it go lighter as you go, which is really cool. So, just like so, and make it go lighter, just like that, and then add another one, and then make it even lighter, if you can. Yeah, just like that, and then apply, go to stroke, press the black, and then go to width, put the width about at 10 go to shadow um make sure it's on black and bring alpha all the way radius is fine where it is put the x uh kind of want to make it pop it out pop out so just kind of put it off to the side a bit and then bring it down a little bit as well and yeah that's looking really fire fire press done and then you can even size it again we just size it there and then press the pencil button again and this time Jackson done and then font this time we'll do American Captain and you can just size it as you can see and then go to style and you can just kind of make it the color that did before um I think that pretty much was the color yeah it was just like something like that you go to stroke let me put a black and then at 10 shadow um just like that and just kind of change it a bit to whatever you'd like and press done and now it's looking super good and yeah that's honestly that's basically how you guys make a logo in today's video. Um, you press this arrow button right here and save it to your gallery. And then go back to your gallery. And there you guys got it. You got your own logo, uh, custom logo. It's a really fire. Uh, a lot of guys wanted to know how, uh, how I make these, but that's how I make it basically. Uh, that's basically it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for our new. Uh, also, turn on the post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. And yeah, that's basically it for today. Peace!